I've been around kids since I've been 18. I've worked for this nonprofit. I've been in this community and this, the block. I've been in this broken uh, community for a while now, you know, and I've been around kids who have just asked me, Miss Abby, if DHS takes me, would you adopt me? Would you foster me? Would you help me? And I always told them that I would do whatever I could. I would pray for them, but that they deserved more than what I could give them. And I think that that's kind of a cop-out to say, you deserve more than me. I'm 21 years old. There's no dad involved. I have a tiny house. (laughs) Like, I think it's a cop-out because I think God equips you and God gives you these opportunities and puts you in these situations and sometimes he's saying like you are enough you you are what I had planned for this child you know and it would have been really easy for me to say no whenever they asked me to take the child no he deserves to have a mom and a dad he deserves to he deserves to live in a better area or have something more than what I can give him but I think that very profoundly God told me, like, you're enough. I put you in this situation because I needed you. Don't don't pray this away. Don't think that they deserve better than you because you're enough. And that's, I feel like through the fostering process, I've gotten a lot braver. And I felt more confident about myself because I see that sometimes, sometimes you're the answer, you know.